Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's been one week since my first video, um, and in that week I've lost five pounds, which it's acceptable. Um, and a nutritionist will tell you that healthy weight loss is like two pounds a week, three pounds a week. Um, I'm just so used to seven pounds or more a week, uh, except for these last two weeks, that's been the normal. And so I'm a little off put by it, you know, I'm a little discouraged, but not too bad. Um, in reality, 20 pounds a month, which that's what that equates to, uh, that's not so bad. Um, if you're cheating, doing your cheat meals, five pounds is actually pretty good, pretty average, because when you cheat, you might gain a pound or two from that one meal. Your body's in shock, and so it stores everything, but. I didn't cheat this week, um, and I've been holding off that cheat meal, uh, I was making a goal of it to try to get to 368, you know, um, because of the way I cheated, uh, the week before, week before last, and it's, yeah, it's kind of punishing myself a little bit, but, I mean, if I had lost seven pounds this week, I probably would have cheated today, and I... I got on the scale this morning was a little bummed, um, especially since, you know, I was retaining water for most of this week for whatever reason, and then yesterday I was peeing like, like clockwork every 20 minutes, for hours and hours, and I thought for sure I'd get on the scale this morning and, you know, two, three pounds would have, would have shown because, I, like I said, I've been retaining water, um, but no, um, so that could be an issue. Somehow I'm, I'm absorbing more water. I'm keeping more water in water weight. Or the other thing is, um, I was putting off my my workouts this week. You know, I have, I'm supposed to have three a week, and I kept putting them off until the day before yesterday. Which I did a great workout that day. I did an upper body workout, and it was phenomenal. I tried this new uh, YouTube channel called. Uh, Anabolic, uh, anabolic aliens. It's a weird name, I know, and it makes it sound like you're on steroids. But the guy seems like a cool dude, and his workouts kill you. Um, instead of what I've been doing, which is um, high resistance, um, ten rep sets, like a normal guy normally thinks to do. You do ten reps of bench press, uh, and do several sets of the ten reps, and you do them at a high weight. Uh, instead, he was having me do a low weight, um, a low resistance, but I was constantly moving. I was constantly going from one workout to the next workout to the next workout, and they were five-minute uh, intervals, all focused on one one muscle group. So, like, five minutes of shoulders. And I tell you, my shoulders have never hurt this bad, ever. Uh, my shoulders, my biceps hurt pretty good. My chest hurts pretty good. And, you know, my back didn't really uh, get affected. At least I don't notice maybe it's just being overshadowed by all the pain of everything else. But I'm impressed. I mean, I, I got up yesterday, walked around yesterday after, you know, I rested from my workout. And I felt heavy. My, my arms felt heavy because everything was aching and tight. And that, that was impressive. That was really good. I mean, usually, usually when I do, would do a workout, everything aches a little bit, you know, or, or or at least a couple of muscle groups ache a little bit, but nothing like this. It was like one constant thing from one arm through my chest to my other arm, and it was just all hurting. So that was good. But it was one workout this whole weekend. So that could also be a reason why I didn't lose those extra couple of pounds. Probably is. Um... The third option, I suppose, is I'm going into an early plateau. Um, I know that I had a few of them the last time that I lost the weight. And, you know, when you think about losing a pound or two a day, like I, like I claimed I was, in eight months, that actually doesn't add up. Because, you know, but that's because of plateaus. Those last 30 pounds, for particularly, the last 30 pounds took a while to get to get rid of 
um, when I did that, um, I was plateauing more and more as I got lighter, um, but still, a pound or two for the first few months of a diet, that, that was the case then, and it was the case, it, it was the case until just the last two weeks, and if five pounds is the new normal, you know, for a while, okay, that's fine, um, I can live with that. But I am a little discouraged, you know, I, I didn't cheat, you know, if I had lost seven pounds, ate a burger and gained a pound or two back, that's, that's what's normally supposed to happen, but, um, I didn't, so, and I'm really trying to put off that, that cheat meal until like 368, so that I don't go above 370 again, hopefully, you know. And that's kind of punishing myself, and I probably shouldn't. Cheat meals, believe it or not, are good for you. They help balance out your, your metabolism a little bit. Um, when you're constantly in a deficit, your metabolism likes to try to rev down. And I try to balance that out in a couple of ways. One being the cheat meal. The other being so, so many more meals. I'm eating four to five instead of three. Or which was really the case in my life. I was having like two meals a day. Um, at least on my off days, I, the days I was at home, I'd eat two, two big meals and that was it. You know, um, I'm eating every three to four hours right now. Um, so, um, there's that to consider. And if I am in a plateau, that means I either have to A, cut calories, which I don't want to do this early, or B, work out harder. Uh, try a different workout, which I'm already doing a new workout, but uh, oftentimes when you're trying to work out, um, you get into a rhythm of a certain set of workouts you do every week, and then you got to change it to just shock your body a little bit. So those are things I'm dealing with this week, things I'm having to worry about. Um, so yeah. Uh, it's already, what, 7 minutes in, 7 minutes, 30 minutes, 7 minutes and 30 seconds in. So I'm going to probably cut off here pretty, here pretty soon. Um, in the future, I want to go over, like, what I buy in a week. You know, show you physically what I buy in a week. Or even going into a little more detail about my workouts. Um, I need to start doing those more consistently. That's probably my biggest problem I'm having right now is being consistent there. Being very consistent with my diet for, for the most part, but um, I don't know. As far as my cheat goes, though, I keep going back and forth on it, whether or not to wait or not. Freaking Jack in the Box has got a patty melt back. That their, their patty melts are one of my favorite burgers, um, and I really want to have one before they stop their promotion. Um, and last night I was watching. Jeff Nippard, he's also a YouTube guy that goes into to fitness. He, he, he likes to focus on the science of it, but he's built like a he's built like a superhero. I mean, he's he's huge, short, but he's huge. Um, but I was watching him last night, and he was doing his his uh, girlfriend's all in diet, and he was eating like cheese sticks, and I really wanted cheese sticks. Really wanted cheese sticks last night. Um, kind of surprised I didn't cave it uh, after I got home yesterday from that. Um, if we're talking about YouTube channels, though, my favorite one is Obese to Beast. Uh, I believe his name is John. He's a little younger than me, but hes I, I relate to him a lot because he was close to my weight. Uh, when he lost it all, and now he looks like a, a bodybuilder. But what's kind of unique about him is he hasn't gotten the skin removal surgery. You know, he has a shirt on, and he looks like he's got a perfect body. You take his shirt off, and he's still got the, the little flappy-looking uh, nipples hanging off and a little bit of a pooch belly and that he hides underneath his, his shorts. But you can't deny the man. He's, he's built. I mean, he looks like um, Tom Holland, the guy who plays Spider-Man, 
but built. He even has the same voice. He literally looks like he could be Taha's twin who decided to bulk up. Um, but I like him just because I relate to that guy a lot more. He doesn't seem to have as much um, actual knowledge, like scientific knowledge, on, on weight loss. He just he's just smart about how he eats and how he works out. Works out. He's got more uh, practice. He does it from practice rather than reading books, I think, from, from what I can tell. Um, some of his food choices that he shows off, I wouldn't pick. Like, he likes to use the, I can't believe it's not butter. And I do have some at home, and occasionally I use it, but it's not something I'd promote on a YouTube channel usually. I mean, I guess you could say I just did, but it's not something you probably should do. It's kind of like telling someone to eat diet soda when diet soda is still bad for you technically it's not really empty calories but I like him I, I like him because he talks about you know life and you know before and after and all that uh, anyway I, I think I'll leave you there if you want to check out those channels that's great if you want to leave a comment below on whether or not you think I should just go ahead and cheat and Say screw it, you know, sustainability wins. Sure, although I'm probably going to ignore it anyway because I'm stubborn. But I would love to see some comments in the in the comment box if you could. Um, and even though I'm frustrated, i got to stay motivated. And I hope you do too, whatever life goal you're going for. Alright, bye.